वेलकम टू कंप्लीट सीक्वल टूटोरियल वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द इनलाइन टेबल वैल्यू फंक्शन लास्ट वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द स्केलर फंक्शन हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट द स्केलर फंक्शन एंड हाउ द सीक्वल इंजन कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस इज द स्केलर फंक्शन और द इनलाइन टेबल वैल्यू फंक्शन so i already discuss in the detail uh, in video number 59 so if you didn't get a chance uh, please go and watch the uh, video number 59 uh, before starting the video 60 so uh, let's uh, start with this uh, video number 60 and we'll learn the how we can create the inline table value function and uh, how we can call the inline table value function and what is the major difference between the uh, scalar function and the inline table value function so basically uh, whenever we talk about the function the syntax of the creating of the function uh, are the same uh, but major difference of the inline and uh, uh, scalar function is the scalar function is return the single output but the inline table value function will return the uh, output in the tabular format that is the row and the column so this is the major difference between the scalar function and the inline table value function so i have one a real time a scenario based question uh, which is the based so this this type of the question you uh, definitely you will get into the interview so if you going to attend any type of the interview so they will ask the question related to like this so i have the question the function take one input parameter a customer id okay from the customer that is the the input parameter is the store id and the return the column product id uh, product name and the aggregated of the year to date sales as ytd uh, so total year to sales date i uh, need to be uh, give in the output for each product uh, sold to the store so whatever the in one store how many product is sold so that uh, need to be give into the uh, result output so how you can create the uh, function so here i am just checking if the function name is already exist uh, uh, first we dropping the function from the schema that is the sales and i am creating the uh, function in within the schema that is the sales schema is there and uh, this is the store id the input parameter and uh, return is the table so this is the area this is the major area uh, where the sql engine can the, uh, understand this is the inline table value function so in last video we discussed that uh, return data is the data type that mean the sql engine can understand this is the scalar function but if you have the return is a tabular table and this is the inline table value function so inline table value function always return the value in the form of the tabular format and here we can write the what we have the requirement we can achieve so the we have the return data type here and you can put within the select statement so we have the product id and the name and the uh, line total basically the to to total value and we join with the product and uh, product with the sales order detail so if you uh, don't have the any understanding of how we can join the two table uh, first you can learn the join concept uh, be, uh, that is the reason we already discussed that uh, join is the play the very important uh, uh, role to achieve any type of the requirement so here we have the sales order detail uh, sales order header and the customer table and here we have the store id and the we grouping by the product and name so let me create this table uh, create this function uh, here so now you can see this function got created now if you try to execute this function here okay so uh, you can see uh, i pass the store id 602 so in the output you can see product id name and the uh, total is the giving into the output so like this uh, the function is uh, called in the place of the table name so a scalar function we calling in place of the column name but uh, the inline table value function will call in place of the table name so hope you understand the what is the base major difference between the scalar uh, function and the inline table value function and in the next video uh, i will discuss about the multi statement table value function so uh, thank you so much for the watching this complete video i will meet again on next video thank you so much